is building me a flower box out of flesh for, a, uh, for my birth uh, for my birthday. It's just it keeps snowing. Yeah, <laughs> oh, God. it just doesn't stop snowing. My microphone is sitting on a compacted cork oh. right now that I need to expand for the garden. Oh my God! Hit, hit the record button. And we're talking about gardening. What are you gardening today? I'm I'm gonna try to plant some uh, black raspberries. Nice. And I have some uh, cover flower, and I'm gonna try growing some basil and tomatoes and. And some peppers. Classic. Be nice. 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 Yeah. Nice. We have a big pot thornless raspberry for mini raspberries. Hopefully, gonna be great. Ooh, that will be good. I think uh, a friend of mine is trying to send me some strawberry seeds. Ooh. Yeah. If you want seeds, I go get. <laughs> I'm, I'm always looking for more seeds. Uh, I, a friend of mine sent me different seeds for my birthday. And so I just have like a, it, it's Axel from my other podcast. Uh, mm-hmm. He sent me a bunch of seeds he had laying around or harvested. So I just have like a heavy Ziploc bag that looks like it's full of fish food, but it's just <laughs> sweet seeds. Nice. Yeah. Okay, we're ready to play D&D now. Thank you, Papa Luke. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> World the music? <laughs> 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 He called you Papa Luke. I love like you. <laughs> Mamma mia! If you say it fast mm. enough, it sounds like Baba Duke. Daddy Luke. <laughs> no. Oh. Uh, yeah, Luke. no, that one feels wrong. What shadow did that come up? You hear that voice when you're about to fall asleep. This was supposed to be a safe place. It's like when I'll go into the bathroom and then Abby will be like checking on me and I've got the lights turned off and then I just walk out with a grin on my face and not say anything and my head slightly to the side. And she's like, no, I do not like this. You go to the bathroom with the lights off? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's understandable. I exit the bathroom menacingly. Oh, I don't like any of this. I want to go back to the, the obviously a dwarf. <laughs> Hi, I'm Sam. I use they, them pronouns, and I play as Kier, the dandy warforged warlock who is mostly hoping that they still get some treasure. I'm Eric, aka Rhythm Bastard. I play Oi, the punk drow monk. Uh, he likes to rock, he likes to punch, and he doesn't like the slow realization that he is uh, that he has sold out his friends. Hi, uh, I'm Sahoni. I'm playing... Uh, Dodger Kelly, a wolf boy of sorts, who is also a cleric of sorts, who, you know, is is very sure, like about eight out of ten uh, and 80 percent ish sure uh, that this guy is just secretly a lord because it's it's always a lord in water deep. That's what it always is. I'm Gina Dazer. I play in the venue Drexel. We both go by they them. Uh, and I need to sit closer to my microphone, judging by the sound waves. Uh, and uh, they're a changeling, bard, sorcerer who really is gonna find a loophole to them mm-hmm. signing away the rights to the treasure there's uh, technically barry found it first so oh, oh. it's barry's treasure barry. uh, and i'm madison rowan she her playing koyos he him uh the crocodile lizard folk druid who really just wants to see his dog and also do do shiny rocks matter? Are shiny rocks important? And I'm Luke, your game master. He, him, once in a blue moon, they, them. And I, I'm the architect of this misery along with the people who wrote this adventure. So, and now we're back from break, which means nothing to all of you, except that you have gained the benefits of a long rest. Oh. Oh, really? What? Okay. No. The listeners, not us. Oh, dang. Oh. No. Never us. No, the, I was gonna get excited. The characters, <laughs> the the five of you, you all have take a long rest. 
Oh, okay. Oh, oh. Yeah. All right. What did you do? Was that Sam voice or Kier voice? Uh, Kier voice. Kier <laughs> is confused as to how. Magic! I, I mean, thank you. I've never heard of a magic that powerful. Time dilation or concentration? I provide what is needed where it, it can be found. Such it's really things. useful. Yes. You should put these in like little points all around town. Yes. I have a question, Mr. Dwarfman. Um, sorry, I forgot your name. What was your name again? I just I'm so Barack Clanghammer. Clanghammer. Uh, Does that like name mean anything to uh me? Like does he owe you money or no I, no, no. like i i yeah have i heard of that money before i or, or not that money <laughs> have i have i heard of that name before uh i i do have like some history and stuff like is this like a known person roll a history check yeah. see if you know anything about okay we're both city folk yeah hardcore I got a 22 on my history check. I don't need to. Never mind. You got this. <laughs> You've never heard of Barack Klinghammer. It, it, it sounds like... Okay, fair. Dwarf name. You've also never heard of the Klinghammers, but... Yeah. You don't know too many dwarfs. That's, you know, that's fair. <laughs> uh, Klinghammer, what? Is this not your treasure? No, I... Uh, it is not my treasure. Right. Oh, you just watch over it to make sure it's mm. cool? Yes, yes. Do you get paid for this yes i do do you take that money from the treasury no i have my own money that is elsewhere i narrow my eyes right i am pay. i have been paid in advance for my services for an indefinite period of time and until that money runs out then i am working here oh fantastic so huh we can see the treasure, but we have not yet claimed the treasure. Yes. Specifically, Koyos and Oi have not claimed the treasure. Mm -hmm. So they do not yet have any treasure to sign away. No, but from what I understand via contacts, I believe that once they have located the treasure, they are expected to notify Shemeshka the Marauder, and then she will what? arrive with her forces and remove the treasure for her own coffers. I mean, did she give you guys a way to talk to her? Did, did she? Yeah, you're just supposed to essentially not like pray, but you know, mentally reach out and say, we found the treasure. But but also, if that's not what I'm saying is, it's not theirs. Barry found it. Well, technically none of you are allowed to remove it under my watch unless you are Dagot Neverember or one of his appointed vassals. So, wait a second. So, we were tasked with bringing this whole thing out and we're not any of the vassals. We're not any... So, even, like, if all of the gangs wanted this treasure, it's not like they could have gotten it out anyway. No, they would need to deal with me. So, all of this has been for this danger, the dimensional traveling, the smoothie of fish was not really leading to us getting any reward besides not dying in that moment. And preventing their endeavors that this money could very obviously assist with. Of course, now your money is promised to someone outside of the city and out outside of the prime material plane as it is. Well, then they wouldn't have gotten it anyway. As soon as they signed that contract, well, then somebody else could have signed a contract saying they were going to give it to somebody else. Which contract holds up? Do we know anyone who's versed in dungeon law? I know many nerds. Are the shiny walks, like, really that important? Not to me. But also, if I made a contract right now saying that I sign my rights over to Kier for the treasure, and I tell Kier about it, then it's Kier's treasure. That's so nice. Thank you. There would be a difference, though, as Dolphin signed a magical contract. Could you know? Authorize it? Me? Yes. I do not leave the vault oh. until my shift is done. Who said you have to leave the vault? I don't know. I, I, yeah, like, I don't think we have to go to City Hall. Oh, oh, I, I, I thought that you meant that you wanted me to notarize the contract that they had signed on the in on Sigil. No, I'm making a new contract. Signing. Oh, no, I am not a notary. Ugh, you never find a good notary these days. Well, I'm also very not public, so that would make it rather quite difficult mm. for people seeking my services. Well, Probably one of the few people who know you exist. Oh. Mm -hmm. That wasn't meant to be insulting. Just no, so no, I understand. I am observational. A secret. And, well, speaking of things that aren't supposed to be insulting, how much of a threat are you, would you say? He 
gives you a grin that uh roll me a charisma save <laughs> like it goes a little too far up his face and his teeth are a little too sharp <clears throat> charisma uh, save throw i rolled a 19 that's a 25 ah uh, you get by that uh you should not fuck with this guy like i said not meant to be an insult no no i understand kia you've had quite a complicated past yourself but uh, i'm tired of men with too much power fucking me over <laughs> Let, let's are you sure dodger i've heard you like a powerful man every now and then <laughs> I, I was taking a drink out of water and i was spitting yeah naked. wait not now now's not the time now's not the time <laughs> no yeah, he's just oh. holding dodger back <laughs> <laughs> he hands a hand out for oi for a high five. Oh yeah and oi returns the high five <laughs> <laughs> Then we could we just get Barry and leave? And Barak, uh, if other people do come here looking to to take the treasure, mm-hmm. you'll deal with them? Yes, uh, if you hand me the Stone of Galore, then the treasure will remain forever hidden, and uh, it shall be unaccessible, and I shall serve out the end of my time to be spent here, and then I will get the fuck out of here in a uh, few hundred years I, or so. Wait, are you... I, you're making this sound like this is less of like a job thing and more of like a, a force conscription thing. No, no, no. Okay. I was paid in advance to got it. God, this and uh, All right. also, but never under it, it, Ember Shemeshka isn't that person either. So you would stop her. I I would do my best. She. Uh... I I would say that you should be concerned if I have heard of somebody who is still alive. I've been here for a while. Mm. But you know about all of us. Roll an insight check. Roll an insight check, Koyos. <laughs> oh no! Insight, insight. Oh god! Uh, oh god! <laughs> Wait, wisdom's one of your good stats, right? Because you're a druid. That's not bad. Uh, yeah, actually. Well, it's it's uh, better than my intelligence. Um, that's a 16. Oh, yeah. No, you asked a very good question there. How does he know? Because <laughs> he was like, you should be worried if I know about somebody who is still alive. And wait a second, but you know about all of us. <laughs> yes, well, uh, word travels. How? Yeah, have you ever left down here? Do you have visitors? I mean, I can receive message spells that people send me and other sorts of missives but if, if Shemeshka comes here to take the treasure will you tell her that we took some of it or will you just try to stop her I would have to stop her as is my uh, prerogative and my uh, duties oh, but you'll you try to stop us too also if this is a no- like I don't want to fight a dwarf for treasure that is already cursed by an interplanar contract I feel like I felt in the plane of despair like why are we still here what are we doing looking for Barry honestly yeah let's just get Barry Barry and go. Yes, if you hand me the stone of the law, you will be greeted by Barry once you leave, and the vault will be sealed forevermore, and everyone will be happy. That's fine with me. Happy? Yeah. The last thing we have to deal with. I mean, not happy necessarily, but things will continue, and the treasure will be lost forever, as you want. I better I... lost than corrupted, I suppose. Mm-hmm. Yeah. But I mean, what's Shemeshka gonna do to us if she finds out that, oops, we totally sealed this treasure back forever again? Also, we can, you can do the whole, and all the other guys too you can get hold of her after the doors closed i mean if if you are not going to summon her here then the doors close the stone of the law is sealed down here so it can no longer guide anyone to the vault and if the treasure is lost is it- also if she finds out you reneged i mean we'll oh kill- she will more than likely come after all of you and uh which, which is to say, and again, I'm not trying to uh, big time you here, Clanghammer, but we killed the Xanathar today. <laughs> I th- I think I just said that out loud for the first time since we did it. You killed a the Xanathar. Yes. And congratulations. Yes. Xanathar is always and will be in the city. Yes. Yeah. Which is to say that we can deal with threats. I I d- oh sweet, sweet, sweet not him not not Clanghammer no not but- everything ends with a beholder eye blasting a powerful woman right mm. Mm. yes there are much mm. more dangerous things than Xanathars out there yes have you ever read a book <laughs> I'm not saying that it's the end all be all just that we can believe in ourselves a little oh, bit yes. why don't we get our dog leave? i think if anything i think if anything else it will give us time to prepare exactly yeah. we're not prepared to fight clanghammer and again i have no plan but 
if a Yugoloth, Yugoloth, Sh- Shibboleth. A Yugoloth specifically, and a Kanoloth. Sh- I, I, I don't mean, know what those are. What is that? Yeah, we need to make a check for those. See, we have time to learn. We can, we can read a book. We can. I do you want to go to the library? Let's, yeah. Can we go home for? Can we get Barry and go? Let's stop making plans for outside of here. Let's get Barry. I, yeah, I just, I, I want to, I want to go home. There's just been a lot going on. I, I have some things I want to talk to you guys about, and yes, I, we should get prepared. Uh, all right. And also, who's you're not reneging on the contract if you tell Shemeshka a few minutes later. I, 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 I mean, you also do have the knowledge of where the door is and how to open it, which is rather a dangerous thing to have in your mind. No one's been able to get into it yet. God knows they've tried. Well, the, the Stone of Galore was required to open it, which is why I have you leaving it here. But if you have the information that provided to you on how to access the vault, then that is the other problem. So it's not locked forever. Yeah, c- maybe we can use a memory wipe spell. Yeah. That is true. Or we could all, including you, fight Shemesh together right now and get it over with. Not live in fear like we've been doing the last fortnight. It has been so tiring. I'd rather not fight. Yes, well, I feel like you're going to eventually. Either nothing's going to happen or a fight's going to happen. Those other things I can do with her beyond fighting. Said, why didn't you mention that? Like, like what? Like- yeah! Ah. High five? Oh, or, or he finally gets it and then reaches his hand up for a high five. <laughs> a dodger completely oblivious. <laughs> right. Well, so do we leave the rock here? Yes, we leave the rock here. Yes. If we if we go home, we're going to get attacked by someone. Mm-hmm. If we stay here and talk about things, at least we're not being attacked every day. Well, I don't mm. want to live in a vault. Not live in a vault, just like a slumber party. And what do you have to tell us anyways? You already know about the Diego thing. Uh, other things. Oh, do tell me about the Diego thing, Dodger. No, there's nothing to tell. He has the cutest little crush. I, I tried hitting on him. I tried asking him out and it just didn't work. And you know what? I'm fine with that. I'm moving on. It didn't. I, it, it's a giant weight off of my body. Wait, you only tried once. No. I just, I, how come everyone knows this? <laughs> and wasn't it after the crawl daddies died, you did not give him a period of mourning after the I crawl did, daddies I, were killed I, by I, your own actions? I, yeah, well, you know, I'm learning. He's really quite young. Yes. Mm-hmm. We're all like his mamas and papas. Yeah. Yes, and his mamas. All four of us. Mm-hmm. Are you sure you you'd want Oi to be lumped into that group. Koyos, I can see, is an eccentric uncle. Older brother. Yeah. Perhaps, perhaps. Maybe fun drunk uncle. Drunk uncle? Irresponsible uncle, I was going to say, yes. Have you had alcohol, Oi? Yeah, I've had alcohol before. That's right, that's right. Yes, a mushroom yeah. vintage. Kombucha. Mm-hmm. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yes, you have a problem with gluten. Oh, man, I could really go for some floor mushrooms right now. <laughs> well, what do we do? So, we leave the rock here and then we get Barry and then stuff happens head back to your house and open your dog cafe with all of your dogs I did. until Shemeshka mm-hmm. comes and tries to kill us all wait how did you know about us wanting to start a dog cafe no one would have cared to send you a message about that you know what it's it's fine they're a lord they they know these things oh we did file permits for building yeah I yes. do enjoy that you keep thinking that I'm a masked lord and I'm honestly not a masked lord I don't think don't say, oh, I'm a mask lord, but also I, the normal. You, you've been wearing a mask. I, I'm not wearing a mask. Insight this check? Is, <laughs> uh, roll insight. Ah, oh, piss. You think he is totally wearing a mask. Uh, I rolled a 17. On insight? insight. Yeah. To see if he is wearing a mask? Yeah. Uh, not wearing a mask. Well. That's good. I was wondering if it was a metaphorical mask. Yeah, that's what that's what Navenia was. Well, saying. I mean, we all wear masks on the, yes. the that we show our true self. <laughs> yes, we've all played Persona. <laughs> <laughs> something, something, Carl Young. I watched the Let's Play of it. <laughs> oh, <laughs> right. Well, just I feel like I, I guess the reason I guess my whole thing is I'm just scared of another recourse from another criminal gang that right. we're probably even less surprised to you know. Oh, like Satoshi. Yeah, <sighs> but like we ended up screwing over Satoshi because we won that battle of the band. So why don't Didn't we just you? make them all fight each other? We tell everyone I, where I, the I, vault is. Just let them go. Not a 
bad idea, honestly. Yeah. We tell them all at the same time. We can put it on a timer or we can time it out. We can just tell them where the vault is and just let them go crazy. Reverse heist. Yeah. And we can leave like little clues going around the town that like send them to different locations. That's a bit much. Yeah. yeah th- I wasn't saying that. This whole plan's a bit much. I yes, really yes. have have no issue just sleeping until <laughs> make it. I haven't taken the care to remember the name of the person you've deaded us to but whenever she shows up we'll be ready shemeshka shemeshka the marauder Kamish- mm-hmm. shemishus sheboygan shemeshka Hoboken. Now, we had to find the thingy for her or else i had to side away my soul for oh. a different thing i think you've made the right choice who needs all this gold anyways I, yeah. like a single tear goes down my face my face is not changed <laughs> <laughs> divinia are you okay what yes i'm fine my eyes are just filling with no other emotional <laughs> Well, can we at least can we at least get like a spider ring? Yeah, like like if we all get like one token, we can just hand it over and be like, "Found the treasure. Here you go." Yeah. If that's the case, could I? Could we do that and then pay you the difference? <sighs> what the difference? It's no, no. I mean, take the uh, the small uh, sum of coins, give them to this Yuga whoever, and then put gold back in here so we're not upsetting whoever the heck this guy is who I have a feeling is a lot more than he's saying. Of course, we don't want to upset Clanghammer. I've made that perfectly clear, but I don't think that our solution to making sure a demon doesn't hunt us is tricking her well i don't think we should trick we'll just tell we told we said that they said they would tell her why don't we just tell everyone why don't we tell everyone in the city they'll kill each other they'll yes. all kill each other and then the dragon wouldn't have to i mean sorry i didn't say that the dwarf would have to yes i i'm obviously not a dragon no i don't I just think. Oh, that... I didn't even think about dragons. Nivenia like wipes her brow. He has dragons on his stick. <laughs> <laughs> I was talking about somebody else. I think telling all of them all at once where it is is a good idea. Yeah, that is going to get a lot of uh, people who are on our backs onto each other. Yes, and because yes. they're not going to stop being on our backs when we leave here. Of course they won't. I think that's not a bad idea. The question is, how do we do it? Well, I have the message spell. How do you get everybody on? I like turtles? No, I can Yes. Sure, turtles. Do you want us to bring you like some magazines or something? I feel like you might have been down here a while. <laughs> oh no, I I I get by. Okay. Alright, I don't want to ask any more questions. Um, I hear hot gossip. <laughs> uh so I can send messages to people. I can also, I have one paper bird left. I think that's uh, probably going to be our best bet. Yeah. And then you can, you can sort of like mind message Shemeshka. And then we tell them it's like where the bridges are. And if we get rid of the- Just draw a map and let them go. Yes. And then we leave and Senor Dwarf here can fight whoever is damaged afterwards. I don't believe you understand quite the scale of Shemeshka's empire. Shemeshka is a arms dealer in the infernal blood war that has been going on since before history was recorded. Huh. That sounds bad. Yeah, yes. that kind of changes up the thing. Like, I was on team, well, whatever, we'll just throw this rock to the wind. But this is going to be team, I, I guess, if, if if they cackle and, like, take their gold and walk away. Yeah. What, 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 what are you proposing to pit against each other is as if you're saying, yes, we will have these two armies fight, and one of them is, like, 16 people with swords and shields, and then the other is 10,000. And then you say, Oh look! There's one person at the end who will take over the vi- the the remaining people who are left. It's uh, it's it's a choice. It definitely is a choice. Well, the option is either lie and we all die, or don't lie and you die, which doesn't seem great. Uh. Honestly, just met you. You seem fine, little horny, but fine. Oh, he is little. Oh, okay. I didn't mean it like that. No. I. I mean, you can also provide Shemeshka the treasure and fulfill the bargain, which is not necessarily mine. I'm fine. I'm honestly... But then we would have to fight you. No, we don't have to fight him at all. He said he wouldn't let us take the treasure. Well, yeah, he wouldn't let us take the treasure. Never Ember. Never Ember. No. Oh. Just get one of those and bring them here. You mean like the one who you met a few weeks back? 
Oh, yes, we rescued him. At the start of your adventure. I squint and there's a flashback and Luke tells us more about this person. Oh, yeah. yeah. Uh, way back, uh, Never Remember was involved in the kidnap- uh, kidnapping case that brought all of you together. Yeah. Oh. Oh, yeah. If Never Ember claims the treasure, then there was no treasure to be found. It's just going back to its proper owner. Hmm. Then we should go get them. Yeah. That mm-hmm. actually sounds pretty good. I could send a paper bird to find them. Send a beak. I send a bird. Oh. And the bird just kind of teleports away. And, uh, how long are you going to wait down here? Uh, I, I tell them to make haste and I, I like draw a picture, like a map. If, if we are sending this message. Mm-hmm. Um, ooh, okay, that's not gonna work. I was seeing if I had any good cleric spells that I could use to guard this space. <laughs> I only have minor illusions. Uh, I have protection from good, uh, from, uh, from evil, but that only works on a single person. Yeah. Oh, can we go mm-hmm. up and remove the, dr- the dwarven scrawl from the secret door, but have that in the message so that that clue to open this doorway is gone, but we close the door. And so only the person who gets the paper bird, which is never ember, knows the secret to it. I think that's a good plan. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And I also tell him, like, don't trust Xanathar. You know, I, I give him, like, a rundown of, like, bad people, blah, blah, blah. Yeah. Good people, us, and I draw little pictures. This person tried to kill us, this person tried yeah. to kill us. There's just an itemized list of everyone that fucked us over since mm. the start of this adventure. <laughs> like, no matter how minor it is. <laughs> <laughs> and, uh... I'll, I'll help. I can help. Probably. I'll help as well. Uh, so Navinia's staying down? Yeah. Okay. And Kira's staying down. Navinia and Kira? Yeah. Yeah, Kira's staying down. Uh, All right. So uh, the other three of y'all go up and you, you use what you need to deface the message. Uh, what secret do you reveal to open the door back up? <laughs> do you got one or? Yeah, I, I, I do have one. <sighs> I am responsible for the death of one of the few friends that I've ever had in the Underdark. Aww. The door opens back up. That's pretty heavy. You gonna be okay? Yeah, I I mean, I, I still do, you know, think about him sometimes. I, and I kind of wish that um, he would have been able to make it out here with me. I understand. <laughs> give, Come on, let's give away a hearty pat on the shoulder while we go back down. Yeah. The Oi, Oi finds uh, a rock somewhere and just scrawls the name Gent in the ground. Mm. And so you all uh, meet back up and about three hours later, you hear the door opening up again. And uh, Rene, uh Never Ember comes down and he's like, oh, friends, it has been, well, we're not really quite friends. You saved my life and then we never really got in contact again. You... Oh, we're in contact now and boy, do we have a surprise for you. Yes. Uh, you, you... Do you like inheriting many pounds of gold? Perhaps pounds of gold that were thought lost to the annals of history? Gold that can transform a city? Yes. Super lost. Like, I didn't, I, I don't think I know a ghost that ever talked about it. My, my ancestor embezzled money. So, yes, no, this is wonderful. It can be reunited to the both. Yes. Hooray. Yeah. Sounds like a plan to me. So the treasure is all claimed, right? It's all these shiny rocks. Yeah, all, the, all these shiny rocks are... Therefore, no longer a treasure, an inheritance. Not lost. Yes, and not a treasure, inheritance. Therefore... Inheritance. Very, very... There is no treasure to be told about. Legally distinct. Yes. Uh... As, uh, again, uh, there were, uh, Finders v. Keepers, uh, had a, uh, a subsection of this. I, yeah. there was a lot of people who talked about dungeon law in the bar sometimes. I don't I... know enough. I just, I just know enough about the treasure stuff. When a lawyer gets drunk, they just go off. Yeah. Well, I think in uh, in drow culture, we do remember hearing something about that, but um, it, it's it's a similar case rather that we kind of uh, put more stock in uh, losers v weepers. Ah, right. <laughs> I don't know who you're explaining all of this for, but I am happy to have the money to return to the city. Yes, wonderful. And this is your friend. Well, look at your lovely money, I say. Yes. Like, I I am very much kind of doing the the prices right girl kind of like hand gesture. <laughs> 
looking over at um Clang Hammer, like what, how? Yeah, yeah. Clang Hammer's missing. Oh, <laughs> oh, just like here. He, he went oh. bye bye. I guess the job was done then. Now that Never Ember has, and since it's inheritance, you are free to dis. Bows of it back to the people, and you know who's lived in the city for a very long time. A few of us. And also, we've had a hard couple of weeks. <laughs> oh, boo! Yeah. But, uh, Barry! Barry just trots back. Barry, Barry, Barry. I, I collect Barry and pick him up and, and give him many cuddles. Yeah. Barry is very happy. We take a cool ten minutes, everyone pets Barry. Give some fluffers. I, I... I think Dodger's like, man, no one's ever going to believe this. I wish I could get like a sketch artist down here. (laughs) Oi says, hold on. And then he opens up like uh, his uh, book, Alyssa Tree's cookbook or handbook. I forgot what I exactly called it. And he starts like drawing in some of like the, the scrap paper he has stuffed in there. And he draws a rough sketch of all of us with a big pile of gold. And massive erections. <laughs> everyone. everyone gets one. No, just one. Just one. Everyone has an erection. <laughs> Except Barry. <laughs> Because that would be weird. Uh, no, yeah, no. Everyone's just like a very simple sketch. A huge tits. But no, but Oi is just drawn like a fucking JoJo character. <laughs> There's so much. You spend an hour solid on the shading for you. Yeah, like the, wait, hold on. I want to get the pecs right and the dog right. <laughs> really got to add the volume to the dog. Yeah. <laughs> Barry becomes Koyos' <laughs> stand. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god! God, also you draw a Jojo-like dog. <laughs> so just uh, a weird human face on a dog. Yeah, it's just absolutely uh, uh, upsetting. <laughs> so we draw ourselves as Jojo characters. Uh, Never Ember gets the treasure. The dwarf is gone. Uh, Shemeshka's contract is void. Um... I, I, I think Navenia does like ask Never Ember is like just just a li- just like like a little bit of money. Oh yes, uh, I will keep that for you in about a week. We need to do some accounting to find oh. out exactly how much is down here and all of that. Yeah, of course. You can come visit us at the dog cafe that we're making. Yes, that should give us enough time to do oh. construction. Oh man! Oh, I have so much work to do. Oh, I completely forgot about all of that. Oh yes, and you volunteer, don't you? We hired people to do that work. <laughs> I need to go to the library. I've also missed all of my shifts. And so I think for the first time since starting this campaign, we kind of like hunt forward a month into the future. Oh, yes. Okay. Oh, wow. Like the dog cafe is still under reconstruction. Mm -hmm. Like that's to be expected. Yeah. We have pop-ups sometimes. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Like, very quiet. Uh, Like, maybe another five dogs have been added into the horde or the herd. Dog horde, dog horde. (laughs) And, uh, like, they all understand that Barry is in charge of them all. Of course. In the end. And we just cut as a well-dressed man is carrying a large sack up to the door and he knocks on it. I think always going to answer it. Do it, do it, open the door. All right. Probably like just helping build some shit in, you know, the main area. Trying to trying to make sure like his sound system is all set up. It's like, oh yeah, this, we want big, huge speakers. We want it to be super loud. And it was like, hold on a sec. Hello? Uh, <laughs> yes. Uh, would you be Oi of the group who owns this building? Yes, I would be. I am here to issue you your portion of the treasure from the city uh, for the treasure that you had provided. The inheritance. Yes, the inheritance, yes. Yes. This is a bag, and he pulls out a bag of holding from his side and just starts pulling out bag and bag and bag and bag and bag (laughs) of gold. Ah, that should be about 50,000 gold pieces. Ah, thank you for your service to the city. I, there's, there's just, you hear Dodger from, like, behind the counter because he's been working on menu stuff. Like, excuse me? (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) <laughs> like it has to be covering the entire floor and front yeah. porch. Yeah. And I I Navenia click here sounds like I heard ominous creaking of something incredibly heavy being put on the wood floor. I just heard money. <laughs> <laughs> we can help a lot of dogs with this. Co- Coils like pops out of the kitchen. I might even get an Italian soda bar. I could get new clothes and a bookshelf. Coils, shiny rocks are good. That's 
a lot of shiny rocks. Maybe like a really cool shovel. I believe that I might also be able to add to the refurbishments that I'm doing to your building, if that would be of interest to you as well. Uh, yes. Yeah, of course. Protective rooms? I shrug. Uh, not, not that. What about a small pool in the back for when it's very hot out so the dogs can splash around? That... That is much more affordable in your price range. Okay. We can do that, and then we can also, uh, get more doors. We can have such yes. a huge mushroom garden in the basement, and the finest ales! We can you... make the pool big enough so that when Coyos' papa comes, we'll have a place to lounge. Oh. Okay, yeah, he was really huge, so I, I, that, that's going to be a very big, it's going to be a very big... He was very ups- upsettingly large. He could yeah. I would be upset. What? My dad's very big. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we're at that point we're just better off like putting a signpost to a lake. <laughs> I wink at Kieran and shrug. Does the place slap at you? <laughs> oh you. Listen to her. That that sort Hands of Hands on pits. <laughs> oh you. <laughs> It's definitely that Dodger is, is having his very humble dreams of, I could get a good bow. <laughs> <laughs> One that I didn't just find on a corpse. Yeah. <laughs> Do- Finally. God. We could get such a wicked good sound system. I could get a bookshelf. We could get more dog beds. And books. Yes. We could have an outbuilding. I could get... No, I think I'm good. <laughs> we could fix that hole in the wall that I think a bunch of lizards rolled through. Oh, yeah. We should fix the I, lizard hole. I that did might... fix that a while back. Oh, thank goodness. Why is there still a hole, then? No, they fixed it. I just haven't been back there. I'm more like a front garden person. I've, I've been taking a lot of shifts at the library. Plus, you know, we can uh, responsibly save some of it as, like, a cushion just in case, uh, you know, because we're going to be in the red for a few months. Oh, of course. You know, that just seems responsible. We can rely on word of mouth. Yes. We can buy so much meat with this. We could. I'm just really excited about a bookshelf. <laughs> <laughs> We should put this in a bank, though. I don't trust our house to be secure. Yeah, maybe a dog bank. (laughs) And that's where we end the episode. Yeah. (laughs) Well, I I, I mean, I'm I'm Kevin, you you know, the person I had to work on the building and everything. And I I, I do think I can provide you a lot of these things. But uh, no, no, I I believe that's all that I have for you right now. (laughs) Uh, I'll continue. I'll I'll jot down these notes. Oh, yeah. It should only take about 10,000 out of that gold. But I mean. Yes. Also, Kevin, you've been incredibly kind with what the... uh, revenge schemes from various gangs in the last month and just all the trouble that's been stirred up and the constant guard visits. I did have to murder Satoshi. Well, that's... Oh. Why don't you take a, like a, a solid 50 as a bonus? Yeah. Not 50,000, just 50 gold. I I could get more windows in my room. Yes. I mean, here is... Water tape is fine. I, I, I had a other idea though what's that well hmm? what a deep is sort of the biggest fish in a small it's the perfect city i don't know what you mean oh no let him talk oh well i came across a uh, property release elsewhere and i could translocate the building including the basement uh, somewhere else somewhere more interesting if you'd be interested uh where oh. Would that be? I've never been outside. Uh, well, I, I did. Everything is. What sort of place are you thinking of? Do you need an answer now? No. No, you you can take your time. Take about 15 days or so. I did want to take the van on tour. Uh, a, t- a 10 day and a half, maybe. I wouldn't mind traveling. Yeah. Uh, I have so much to do in the city. I don't... I, there's some uh, leads I want to follow. You and I can can chat, Navinia. We can... We'll come up with something. Well, if you are interested, I, I've i got uh, the paperwork written up for a rapid translation, so to speak, of the building and property. So, Where would it be going? Hmm. The center of everything. Sigil. No! <laughs> <laughs> Maybe let's not do that. No, yeah. Fair enough, I thought I would suggest. What's wrong with Sigil? We should build up our our business here before expanding outwards. Yeah. I have family in Sigil, as I'm to understand it. That could be a fine place to, for new stuff. That would be a great place to uh, to, fall, uh, to figure out, you know, where my parents are. We could talk about it. Just sh- sh- shaking head in the background. No, 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 no. <laughs> 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 we, 
<laughs> or he's like trying to hide under a lampshade. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, that sounds like who of you are very much in... Uh... Right, well, we don't have to decide now, Mr. Kevin. You're being very, very forward. We only just got this money. I am afraid I have to agree, Mr. Kevin. We will have an answer for you, but need to confer as a group. Fair enough. Well, I, I'm in here literally every day refurbishing your building, so I thought I'd offer. Sure. Appreciate it. Now, I feel like mm-hmm. I have to go down for a nap. I've been mm-hmm. so tired. And that weird <laughs> transition <laughs> is where we end this week Ooh. on RPG House Club. You've been listening to RPG Pals Club. I am Luke, your game master. You can find this podcast at rpgpals.club or on our Twitter, which is RPG Pals Club. We hope that you have enjoyed this return to Waterdeep Dragon Heist as we are getting close to the end of Gary's vision. <laughs> it's only taken us uh, 56 episodes. No, 57. Yeah, 56 or so episodes to uh, get to the big finale. 10 days and 56 episodes. Yeah. <laughs> so look forward to uh, what is coming up in the uh, future. I'm curious to uh, whatever it is. More mm-hmm. guns. We all get a gun. <laughs> it's, it's a shatter run now. Campaign two. We get guns. <laughs> <laughs> Even Barry. Bow, bow. Uh, I have plans <laughs> and thoughts. All right. But, uh, yeah. So look forward to that. Leave us reviews. You you know the whole spiel. It means a lot. Also, like if you enjoy the podcast, let us know on Twitter. Yeah. And uh, yeah, I Luke, your game master, can be found on Twitter at, at Coltrek. That's K O L T R E G. I have a bunch of podcasts that are wrapped up, but also like the Exiled Annual is coming up soon. I did a fallout columbus set podcast where it sounds like that is also going to get a new game plus style sequel to it and uh yeah follow me on twitter at, at coltrag and check out all the shit that i do i'm sam you can find me on twitter at frunding underscore loom it's f-r-o-o-n-d-i-n-g underscore l double o-m and that's all i got to plug i'm madison i've been playing Koyos, uh, and you can find me on Twitter at Quipster Rikuru, Rikuru spelled R I K U R U, and pretty much everything uh, I do will be linked through there. So, you know, it's a hub of sorts. Have fun. I've been Eric, a.k.a. Rhythm Bastard. You can find me on my website, rhythmbastard.rocks. Rock so hard, I had to put it in the URL. You can also support me monthly by going to my Patreon at patreon.com slash rhythmbastard. Uh, I record new music. I record covers and hopefully a visual novel that's going to act as sort of a prequel to uh, this little campaign we've been doing. Mm-hmm. You can also support me by going to my Bandcamp page at rhythmbastard.bandcamp.com or on my Threadless store at shop.rhythmbastard.rocks. <laughs> I'm Gina Dazer. I'm on Twitter occasionally at a Dazer, A-D-A-S-E-R. I'm working on some pretty big projects right now, but uh, mostly in the physical space. Look forward to those in the future. And just... Take care of yourselves, show care for yourselves and others, and have some cocoa. This is season. Uh, hi, I'm Sahoni. Uh, you can find me on Twitter at Sahoni underscore stuff. That's S-A-H-O-N-I underscore stuff, uh, where you can talk, uh, see me talk about uh, my other podcast, uh, Barking Points Memo, which is a semi-weekly uh, current events comedy podcast where we look at the news and scream, but in a funny way. You can also uh, find links to my shop, bramblewolfgames.itch.io, because my game is finally launched. That's right. You can go get Exceptionals, a game about community, activism, and kinetic eye beams right now. It's been selling pretty well. Uh, I'm currently working on a setting book for it with some extra protocols uh, for more character options, uh, which you can support the uh, development of on my Patreon, which is Bramble Wolf Games on uh, Patreon. You know, uh, I have community copies. If you are uh, a marginalized person or a poor person who, for whom the 15 bucks is, uh, would be too much of a burden for, uh, and you can even sponsor extra uh, community copies through tips and uh, support on my Patreon. And uh, yeah, that kind of wraps things up 
Thank you. Uh, welcome back to the entire party being together. Thank you again to Jen Overstreet for stepping in uh, on the previous arc. And keep an eye out. Keep healthy. Keep safe. Keep happy as much as possible. And thank you for listening. Catch you on the flip mode. Bye. Bye. Bye.